No way, bro. Oh my gosh. Right in Shogun, the Electro Archon is back and I'm finally going to summon on her banner once again. I did summon on it when she first came out when I was just getting into Genshin and I didn't pull her unfortunately. But this time around, I'm having high hopes that I will. And I know a lot of people are going to be summoning for Raiden as well. Like I said, she's an amazing character. Everybody knows that. But also, she's considered one of the strongest and also just aesthetically pleasing characters in the game as well. So I'm going to be summoning for her and hopefully I have as good of luck as I did with Ganyu and Zhongli. So as you can see, I am here in Inazuma at the Raiden Shogun's Palace. And this is where I'm going to be summoning for her. I think that's a very important thing to do. With Ganyu and Zhongli, I summoned near the Adeptai abode and I got her that way. And Zhongli in that case as well. So I do want to say that first of all, I've also, because I grinded Ganyu pretty much since I've gotten her two months ago for artifacts, I have quite a bit for Raiden Shogun as well. I have this piece for her, which I think is going to be very good. You know, she needs energy recharge, crit damage, not a lot of crit rate though, I will say. Uh, electro damage bonus over an attack one because it's got a lot of crit damage, but it could be a lot better. Again, no crit rate really. And then an energy recharge piece with a lot of crit damage on it as well and some elemental mastery which isn't exactly what i need would have been better if this was crit rate again like i said but this will get the job done until i go ahead and grind up some more artifacts for her and yeah that's just to start it off but let's go ahead and jump into the summons so i already have kujo sara chinyan and bennett kujo sara in particular i have her at c2 i know you can use her with raiden so i wouldn't mind more constellations but honestly you know i already have her which is good Bennett, I already have arguably one of his most important constellations, C1. Uh, so I'm not really in the market for some more Bennett's right now, but I'll take them. Of course, I will. Uh, Chin Yan, of course, is probably the one I would want the least. I have her at C2. I don't really use her, so not on my radar. I guess Kujo Sara and or Bennett would be good. And any other four stars, you know, I'm not really saying. But all right, let's get into these summons. So I have enough for pity. I'm on about, I think, like one or two pity. I'm, I'm really not that high. So, oh, actually I am. Okay, I guess I was. I got Zhongli. So, I'm on 6 pity from this page. So, not bad. I have 72. That's more than enough. I usually get it around 70. But, let's go ahead and jump into this. Alright. I really hope I get Raiden. I've been really lucky and fortunate with my 5 stars. But, I hope that I can get her. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. This is just like Ganyu again. No way. No way. There's no way this is gonna be just like Ganyu's banner. I mean, if it does, I'm not going to summon for Kokomi. <laughs> I would probably say for Kaza, or maybe I would summon for Kokomi, but there's no way. There's no way I got a 5 star. Actually, that means I can get guaranteed Raiden Shogun then, because I can grind up. I got, okay, Kujo Sara, bro. Oh my gosh, is this going to be like Ganyu? It is. I got Raiden on the first multi. Are you kidding me? No way. No way, bro. Oh my gosh. My luck is so amazing nowadays with this. That's crazy. I can't believe I got her like that. What? On the first multi? Wow, leave a like for that. I cannot believe that just happened, guys. And pull for her. But I think it's worth just summoning for her instead of Kokomi. Again, if I do end up getting the wrong 5-star, like if I fail my 50-50, then that sets me up for a guaranteed on Kaza's banner. So, whether I summon on Kokomi or not, as much as I would like to get another brand new 5-star, I think Kokomi is really cool, and I would like to get her. I think I'm going to just keep going on Raiden. So, here we go. I'm going to keep summoning, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can pull more of her. I think that's the right choice, though, because Raiden, she's a special character. She's not like anybody else in Genshin. You definitely want to go all in for her. And also, if I do end up winning my 50-50 again, not only will it be the first 5-star that I ever pull a C1 dupe for... It'll also be the first time I've ever pulled a duplicate five star on a banner or just in general. But, you know, that means in the future when Raiden comes around, if I win that 50-50, I'll have C2, which is very important, of course. Uh, so, yeah, let's just go ahead here. I, I honestly wanted to stop here and go for Kokomi. But, you know, this is Raiden Shogun. This is, you gotta go all in for her. So that's exactly what I'm doing to make this a summon video that's not just ended after like one summon. But that's still crazy. Like, I think that's still worth a like right there that I got her on the first summon. <laughs> that's pretty crazy man so let me know what you guys pull tag me on twitter you know with whatever it is you get plus this is a good opportunity to go ahead and get kujo sar and bend it up as well like i said it would be cool oh i got goro okay i don't have goro uh him rosaria and one more i believe 
I don't have still. So that's pretty good. I will take that. Okay. Let's just keep it going. You know, at this point, I really don't care. I mean, if I could get another five star and it be right, that'd be great. But like I said, I'm not exactly going to hit pity. So I might have to grind that off screen for you guys to go ahead and get this done. But man, I, I can't believe that I'm, I'm in shock right now. I, and again, I don't think it's worth really summoning on the weapon banner because as a free to play player, it's not going to go so well. There we go. I got another Kujo Sara. All right. So another Kujo Sara. I should be able to get some more wishes actually here with the star glitter that I'm getting. I, I don't think we'll get another five star without hitting pity. That's crazy, man. Okay. No Bennett's have been showing up. A lot of Kujo Saras. Okay. We got the string loose. That's good. A lot of Kujo Saras. I think I'm going to have my first C6. We got a Sayu. Okay. Don't necessarily want her, but thanks for showing up, I guess, you know? <laughs> All right. That's that's good, though. Yeah, the dupes. We need that star glitter. So I might actually be able to hit pity again this video. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Another four star. Okay. Sometimes I really can't tell if that's a five star or a four star or not. But all right, let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. I cannot believe this luck right now. Insane. Absolutely insane. Another Kujo Sara. I'm just getting tons of her, man. What is this? Come on now. It's crazy. I can't believe it. I think at this point, she's got to be like C5, right? Or C6 already. Okay, this is the last summon I can do without buying something extra from the shop with my star glitter. Okay. Blood stick. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure we're going to get another four star character this time. Maybe a weapon. I don't know. I mean, I need more weapons. I actually really do because I don't have a lot of weapons for characters. Unfortunately, I usually have to craft them, but they don't give me a lot of things. Like, look at Ganyu. I have the Hamayumi sword on her, even though I don't have any blueprints. Dang. Okay, the first summon that didn't have a four star character. All right, so I have a total of three summons left. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this right here and then go ahead and buy this right here. And that should give me enough to hit pity, I hope. If not, like I said, I'll grind up some more. Come on, man. Give me a five star and let me win my 50-50. We did not get a five star. Okay, I'm going to have to do a single after this then. But we're definitely on pity once again. Because that is 70 summons. Since we Actually, it might be even a little bit more. I have to see when I actually drew Ganyu. We got Chinyan. Okay, another featured four star other than Kujo Sara. No Bennett anywhere inside as well. For whatever reason. Um, and that's good. I think I can actually get another. Yeah, I can definitely get another one of those. Okay. All right. Let's do another wish. And hopefully this is finally the five star. Maybe it'll be right in. Maybe it won't be. There we go. Finally on my 78th multi after pulling her. And we got another ride in Shogun. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys have no idea how long it took me to go in and get her. That's why this video is going out a little bit late. At the time of uploading this, uh, I grinded all day today doing anything I missed from the interactive map, doing any quests from Inkonomi or anything that I've just missed in general. The new event is also out at the time of this. And there we go. I have two. Um, I can't believe that. I won my 50-50 twice. That is crazy. That is crazy. I have to show you guys exactly how many this took. It's not going to show that one, of course. Um, but I, I did so many summons to get to this point. I literally pulled Raiden all the way over onto like the 13th page. I still can't believe I just ended up walking away with two Raiden Shoguns from the banner. I'm actually really glad that I didn't do Kokomi, even though it would have been nice for content to have two different summon videos out. Raiden Shogun's one of the most important characters. So as you can see, 13 full pages worth since I got her and I finally went ahead and hit the pity and I won my 50 50 two times. So this is really amazing, of course, because I have her first constellation and I'm not really going to have a chance to go ahead and summon. I'm not going to continue to summon on this banner because it was hard enough to get to this point again to get the pity and everything. Uh, but having enough to hit pity again is going to be more or less impossible before the banner goes away. So I will save up most likely for Kaza. Uh, but of course, that C2, that means in the future, I only have to get her once from the 50-50 or whatever, and I'll have her strongest constellation that people say so i'm gonna go ahead and activate that and that's very good honestly uh but also from this i did walk away with a lot more units as you guys saw i ended up getting uh chin yan i got her constellation i'm really surprised that i didn't get any bennets i thought i was gonna get more bennets i have c4 for chin yan now even though i don't play her really i got a sayu two sayu constellations actually which is kind of funny because she's not even a featured unit and i walked away with my first c6 unit which is kujo sara which i did get for the first time of course 
back when Raiden Shogun came out. And it's nice to have her at C6. I know a lot of people do love running Kujosar with Raiden, um, even if it might not be the most effective. But the fact that I have this C6 where its crit damage can be increased. So, you know, obviously Raiden's going to benefit from that, especially because she's an electro damage character. That's very, very good. And yeah, I really can't complain. I even walked away with two new four stars. Uh, I got Goru, and then during the process of this, I did some normal summons as well, and I walked away with Rosaria. So I have every single four star in the game at this point, and I can't believe I walked away with C1 Raiden Shogun from this banner, all within just about 80 wishes, 90 wishes. I hit Pity and pulled her on the first multi. It doesn't get more crazier than that. But if you guys want to summon for Raiden, definitely come to this location in Iazuma, and yeah, I just can't believe it. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.